Hello Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. Today we'll be all about crafting with inspiration and using that inspiration to make a variety of unique and beautiful candle holders that can be placed around your home all year round. The inspiration for these nine candle holders that we'll be making will come from a variety of sources that I will share with you throughout this video. For instance, our first candle holder, we are going to take a round foam wreath form like this one and turn it into a candle holder based on a design I saw at Crate and Barrel. The version we will be making will look very similar to the Crate and Barrel Lauren large taper holder, but we will of course give it our own unique style. For the short neck of the candle holder, we will be incorporating this napkin holder. This came in a six pack from Dollar Tree. And for the platform, we will be using this square wood panel also from the Dollar Tree. And rather than a white candle holder, we are going to go with a silver color scheme, so we'll need some silver metallic paint as well. To begin, I went ahead and spray painted the entire wreath form. Now we're going to take the napkin ring and place it upright on top of the wreath form. To adhere it, we're going to apply a bit of hot glue along the rim or edge of the napkin ring where it is going to make contact with the wreath form. Then we're going to glue the wreath form to the square panel that I have also spray painted. And that's about it. Place a candle inside the napkin ring holder and now you have a crate and barrel Lauren Taper holder dupe. The candle we have here is a battery operated candle from the dollar store and I have it glued directly onto the wreath form. This candle holder stands over a foot tall and really catches people's attention when on display. Let me know what you think down in the comments and also include the word candle so I know you visit it today. For our next candle holder, we will also take the inspiration from Crate and Barrel to recreate their Taylor Large Glass Hurricane candle holder. To do that, we'll need some dollar store supplies including this tall round glass vase and this small round glass bowl. We'll take some fix-all as well as some hot glue and adhere the two glass pieces together. The small bowl will be placed upside down and the tall glass vase will sit on top of it. Then. Place a medium sized candle inside and that's it. What do you guys think? Wasn't that just the easiest craft to do? And the best part is not only was it quick and easy, but it only cost a few dollars to make. For our next candle holder, it is inspired by the number eight. I found a bunch of wooden numbers and letters at the Dollar Tree and picked up several pieces. I thought the number eight would be fun to craft with, so let's see how it turns out. We'll also need a square canvas. This one measures 4 by 4 inches and comes in a 2 pack. We'll also need one of these tin container lids along with some mini mirror tiles from the Dollarama and lots of these clear round crystal flat back gems from Hobby Lobby. The first thing we'll do is to dress up the canvas with a couple of rows of mini mirror tiles. This will become the base of our candle holder. And to give a bit more stability to the base, we're going to add this small wood piece inside the canvas as well. We'll just use some white glue to adhere it to the inside of the canvas. We're going to paint the number 8 wood pieces with some silver metallic paint. I've got a couple of the eights here to paint. If you don't have any silver metallic paint, I would suggest either white or black. We 
Once the figure eights are fully painted and dried, we're going to go back in and cover as much of the sides of the figure eights with the mini mirror tiles. Two rows seem to fit, but we'll be able to see the edges, which is why we had to paint the wood pieces first, so the natural tan color of the wood pieces would not look out of place. And while we work on these wood pieces, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would help me greatly if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my glam home decor DIYs. And if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up as well. Your support will really help me continue providing you with more amazing and creative craft tutorials. And the best part is, subscribing and giving me a thumbs up is absolutely free, but will make a world of difference to me. One little tip I would like to share with you as well is that when you get to the tops and bottom of the eights, leave about three quarters of an inch clear of the mini mirror tiles. I will show you a bit later why. For now, the rest of the wooden figure eights will be embellished with some clear round flat back gems. For this, we're going to apply some clear tacky glue onto the exposed surface of the wooden eights. And then we're going to use our gem picker to place the gems onto the glue until the entire surface is covered with the gems. This process may take some time, so little breaks in between may be a good idea. Once both aids are embellished with the gems, we're going to go back in and apply some glue to the top and bottom of one of the aids, and only the bottom of the second eight. We're going to stack one on top of each other vertically, and they will be placed on top of the canvas base that we embellished earlier. Once you're certain the eights are stable and sturdy, the last step for this candle holder is to place the tin lid on top of the eight using some hot glue. This is where our candle is going to be placed. And here's the final look for our double eight candle holder. This one stands over a foot tall and looks absolutely beautiful. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you have made it this far in today's video, leave me a comment with the word candle so I know you visit it today. And with that said, let's continue with our next candle holder. This one is inspired by my sweet tooth. We're going to make a one of a kind candle holder with one of these dessert shot glasses. And for embellishments, we'll take a strip of this beautiful rhinestone crystal ribbon to glam it up. But first, we're going to take this glass candle holder and apply some hot glue to the rim at the top. Then we're going to stack the shot glass right on top. To cover the seams, we're going to add a strip of rhinestone ribbon all around. This ribbon is self-adhesive, so no additional glue is required. And once that's done, we're going to take another strip of the same rhinestone ribbon and embellish the rest of the glass candle holder. This will make it look like the candle holder is actually one single piece. And here's the final look for our dessert shot glass candle holder. 
Once again, it's such a pretty piece and it actually goes very nicely with the double eight candle holders, don't you think? And feel free to comment down below and let me know and drop me a note with the word candle so I know you visit it today. Okay, let's continue on to our next candle holders. The next three are inspired by Halloween. The candle holders we will be making will each be in the shape of a pumpkin. For the first one, we will need several of these silver bangles I found at Dollarama. We will also need one of these silver hammered tea light holders. To make the candle holder, all we need to do is adhere the bangles all around the sides of the tea light holder. The number of bangles you will need will depend on how far apart or closely the bangles will be placed. I would suggest, suggest roughly a half inch apart. For mine, I'll be using a total of eight bangles. And here's our first pumpkin candle holder. Simply place a tea light on top and surround it with the rest of your Halloween decor. For our second pumpkin candle holder, we're going to be using these clear plastic shower curtain rings along with one of these small glass pieces. Similar to our first pumpkin candle holder, we'll adhere the shower curtain rings to the sides of the glass using 16 rings in total. When adhering the shower curtain rings to the glass, make sure the shower curtain rings are secured at the ends so they don't pop open. And here's our second pumpkin candle holder. We'll pop a silver tea light into the middle and let it set the spooky mood for Halloween. And for our third pumpkin candle holder, we're going to take some of these large, flat, round glass gems and place them vertically all around this glass votive. And here is what each of the three pumpkin candle holders look like individually. And then here it's all together as a set. Each one is unique, yet they all have a common pumpkin-like look to them. Although these are originally inspired by Halloween, I actually have these candle holders displayed on my table all year round. And with that said, let's move on to our next candle holder. 
For this next one, we're going to need a few more supplies from the dollar store, including two of these round frame mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree, some more mini mirror tiles as well, and some silver beaded necklace. We'll also be using some flat back gems for embellishments to glam up the candle holder. And we'll also need one of these plastic wine glasses and a plastic round lid like this one from a snow globe I found at the Dollar Tree. And we'll also need some string lights because this candle holder is not only going to be lit by a candle, but also by these lights. This candle holder is quite unique and I call it the ring of fire. You'll know why shortly. The first step is to take the mirrors apart. We're not going to need the mirrors themselves, so keep them aside for a future craft project. For this candle holder, we will only be using the round frames that have been detached from the mirrors. We'll embellish the frames with some mini mirror tiles. I have several strips of the mini mirror tiles already cut out and because they are self-adhesive, we're simply going to adhere them directly onto the inner circle of each of the frames. We'll place some square flat back gems on the front of the frames. I'm using some clear tacky glue to adhere the gems to the frame. I prefer using tacky glue over hot glue for my crafts sometimes because I find the hot glue will cool down and dry too fast, not giving me enough time if I need to make any adjustments when working with the gems and mirrors. And in case you're curious, I'm using this gem picker to make it easier and faster for me to grab hold of each gem and position them exactly where I want them on the frame. Next, we're going to create a border around the gems using a string of silver beaded necklace. For this, I'm okay to use hot glue because I actually do want the glue to dry as fast as possible and I don't have much to adjust with these beads once they are placed onto the frame. Next, we're going to turn the frame over so we can start placing down our fairy string lights inside the frame. To keep the string lights in place, you can either use a bit of hot glue or you can use some clear scotch tape. Just make sure that you leave a bit of the string hanging out where the battery pack is attached.
And then here I'm using a hot knife to score the mirror frame so we can create a tiny little dent where the string light wiring will be threaded through. Then we're going to position the second frame so that the two backs are facing each other. We will adhere them together with some hot glue and then cover the hot glue with a string of silver beaded necklace. we will take the silver base that I detached from one of the plastic wine glasses I got at the Dollar Tree and it will be glued to the frame. The wine glasses come in a pack of four and with this chrome finish on the base it makes a perfect base for our candle holder. And here's the final look for our ring of fire candle holder. You can see I have placed a pillar candle on top of a white lid which is set to the inside of the frame. Make sure you glue the lid down securely so the candle sits sturdily. And for safety reasons, I always use battery operated LED candles rather than real candles. And here is what our candle holder looks like when it's lit up in the dark. I call this candle holder the ring of fire because of the fairy lights. It just gives the room a very nice glow. If you have made it this far in today's video, leave me a comment with the word candle so I know you visited today. And with that said, let's move on to our last candle holder. We're going to need another one of these round framed mirrors, but this one is a one of kind design inspired by my love for Christmas. We're going to need a few of these silver Christmas ornament balls as well. I have selected three different sizes, but you can make this candle holder if you only have two different sizes. We'll also need another lid that will hold our pillar candle. And as usual, we'll need some silver embellishments. This rhinestone mesh, some silver mesh ribbon, and another string of silver beaded necklace, and some black acrylic paint. To start, I have already disassembled the framed mirror and put the mirror aside for later. We'll begin by adorning the frame with some silver mesh ribbon until the entire frame is embellished. And with the mirror reinserted, you should now have something that looks like this. You can see here I use the silver beaded necklace to border the mirror and cover the black frame in the inner circumference of the frame. Next, we'll take some black acrylic paint and paint the entire lid. Now, if your lid already happens to be black or silver, then you can skip this step. But if not, you may need a couple of coats of paint to cover whatever color and design may be on your lid. To seal everything in so the paint does not peel, we're also going to brush on a generous layer of Mod Podge as well. Either in matte or glossy finish is fine, whichever you prefer or whichever you have on hand. The lid dries, we're going to set it aside and take our silver ornament Christmas balls and start stacking them together in a vertical manner, starting with the largest ornament ball. We'll snip the tip off where the cap is usually connected to so we can flatten the surface and get it ready to glue to the next ornament ball. I will be using a total of four ornament balls. One large one, a medium sized one, and then two small ones for the bottom. 
And then I'm going to wrap a string of silver beaded necklace in between each ornament ball to hide the seams where the two ornament balls meet. Next, we will need to adhere the lid to the framed mirror. Here I'm using hot glue, but if you prefer a more secure and long-lasting hold, you may opt to use some Fix-All or E6000 as well. Once the lid is secured in place, we're going to take the Christmas ornament balls that we glued together earlier and adhere it to the bottom center of the lid. Here's the final look for our Christmas inspired wall sconce candle holder. It is mirrored and it looks absolutely beautiful. I think this candle holder looks so exquisite and would look great on the wall on either side of a fireplace mantle. Let me know what you think. In fact, I would be curious to know which candle holder from today's craft tutorial you liked best. Comment down below with the word candle and let me know which piece is your favorite. And if you enjoyed today's craft tutorials, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, stick around and check out my other beautiful DIY home decor pieces.